Oh, okay. You, you want a big one? But That's busy. a big one. Huh? How much is it? You like 100. Almost 100. 100 for him? Almost 100. How much? Almost 100. 100. 100, okay. Is that the biggest one in there? Yes. Woo! I need one. Okay, well, I'm going to deal. <laughs> I'm going to deal. Okay, thank you. Yeah, it's good. No, don't get it. That's it. Come over here somewhere. This is so you don't need to eat. That rainbow is These catfish are right here. He's a big boy. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Okay. You upset him. to. <laughs> Okay. All right, thank you. Okay, so y'all, I got everything almost ready. I have my corn and potatoes, which is right here. I've already washed those off, pre-washed them. Now, uh, I'm going to make the Bee Love Smack Licious um, sauce. Uh, I have my eggs on a ball for my boiled eggs, but I do have the biggest crock pot known to man. Now, what I have in here already is my, um, I have a little uh, Zatarin Shrimp and Crab Ball down in there. Um, I put a little olive oil in there because I always love to put olive oil in water when you're boiling. I just think it gives it more flavor and makes things cook uh, a little bit better. Um, so I got that in there. I am about to cut up the lemons and the onions and the garlic clove uh, that Be Love says that you need to cut up and place down in your water. And I'm also going to put either some chicken stock or chicken bouillons down in the water as well as soon as that begins to boil that's a lot a lot of lot of water down in there so guys um yeah it's it's gonna take a minute for that to boil so while that is coming to a good hot ball remember they said it needs to be a good hot ball so while that's coming to a good hot ball we're gonna go back over here and we're going to start um slicing up these lemons the onions and the um garlic cloves all right let me get my camera set up and let me get all the other items that i need and then after we do this we're going to bring out the seafood and i'm going to show you everything i have as far as seafood and then we're going to go ahead and wash the seafood off and get ready to put that in the water by then that water should be hot hot with four t's and five exclamation marks okay see, see you in a bit okay so people i have my onion here that I just, um, I just, I just um, took um, the uh, layers off. I'm about to cut them up. I'm gonna put these onions in the pot. As beloved states, put it in your water, along with um, your seasoning to give it some flavor. So I have my onion chopped there, and then now I'm going to also cut up my lemons, and I'm just going to slice the lemons like this. And by the way, I've already washed these lemons, even though you see the peel still on there. I did wash them, so they're already washed. There you go, lemons. Okay, all the juice is there. Oh my God. So now we have our lemons. The next thing I'm going to do is 
I'm going to take the garlic cloves. I think she said you need about four garlic, garlic cloves. So I'm going to take about four. A smoothie machine or something like that. It's sometimes something has to click close before it will actually work. And I believe that's what's wrong with the food processor. If I had my food processor out, all of this would be easy because I could just kind of mix a lot of this stuff up, this garlic and lemons and stuff, and just kind of make it like a paste or something and dump it over into the water. As we're talking and as we're doing that, of course, I showed you the water earlier. It is boiling. We're trying to get that water to a, a certain temperature and make sure that it's really, really hot. So when we put the seafood over in there, it would be good and ready to go. Okay, so that's garlic number two. I'm gonna use this one, but this is a pretty good size. So I already have some um, some water and uh, sodas and other things already on ice outside, and um, you know we're gonna keep that on ice and just let that get cool. So when we do the seafood bar, I'm just gonna take everything and just dump it over into onto the table like they do in New Orleans and just let everybody go for themselves, you know? We're going to see what this B-Love Smack Licious sauce is all about. My sister, when I told my sister I was doing a crab ball, she said, oh, you got to go check out B-Love and see how she do her crab ball. And I was like, well, I'll check her out, but you know, we've done crab balls before before, and there's never been an issue or complaint about my crab ball. So um not sure why this time she wants me to go check out B Love. So I decided to check out B Love, pull her up on YouTube and check out her her sauce. And I'll let you guys know. When I try it, if it's uh, what everybody says it is. I'm going to wash my hands. So, now that I have all that together, let's just see what um, flavors um, we have. I have the lemon pepper seasoning. I have Obey, I have regular sea salt, I have garlic salt, I have Cajun seasoning, I have paprika, I have the garlic and pepper seasoning, Italian seasoning, I believe I saw that in her list of things, but if not, then I would not put this in there. Um, cayenne pepper, I think I saw that, it was either cayenne pepper or chili chili uh, pepper, but either way I have both. Uh, I have this Cajun's Choice Blackened Seasoning that's not in there, but again, it's Cajun seasoning, so I got that. I have the Adobe All-Purpose person, person, uh, all Seasoning. Um, she had another um, seasoning in there, but this is what I normally use, and she does state in her video that you can kind of substitute or use what you like. So I'm going to use this. I have the blackened seasoning. Not sure if we're going to use that, but we'll see. That's on standby. Of course, I have black pepper. I have Cajun seasoning here. And then I have another Cajun seasoning that have some little green uh, flakes, I believe. Let's see what it is in here. It says all spices. It says... Uh, a little garlic, pepper, onion, um, what else in there? 
uh, I don't know. I don't know what the green flakes are. So maybe they're parsley or Italian. I, I'm not sure. But anyway, I like this Cajun seasoning because it does have the little green flakes of other seasoning in there. So anyway, uh, and then I have the light brown salt and then, uh, I mean sugar and then of course the kosher, coarse kosher salt. So we're going to, um, and then I have the garlic herb butter, of course. Um, that I showed you a little earlier. So we're going to go ahead and take these items. I'm going to chop up this garlic and then we're going to take all this stuff and we're going to put it down in the water. The water should be almost about at a ball, I'm thinking. Um, not sure yet. I could grind this on the grinder. That may, be, uh, may make it a little bit better. Not sure. Um, I didn't get a chance to fully watch her video. I just kind of, you know, went into it and kind of fast forwarded a lot and did some other things because I just didn't have time to watch the entire full video um, at the time because I was at the seafood place. This was last minute. I usually like to do things my own way, but because my sister is so in love with this be love sauce, I figure why not make it for her and guess what people it's my birthday not my sister's birthday so <laughs> really they should be cooking for me you know i'm the birthday girl y'all i got the uh the uh, live dungeness crabs out when i bought them they were all live and i think i'm gonna show you the video where i actually went to pick them up so these are live uh dungeon crab and we're going to uh put those and cook those as well and um, you guys can feast off of those you see um, they were like $61 for the two of them they're very heavy but hey I got um, what do you call it scallops I got a big thing of scallops as well so we're gonna cook the scallops I'm gonna cook the shrimp and scallop by themselves I got that that was $30 for um, this dry sea scallops so um, yeah we're gonna go ahead and uh, cook those okay so here we go because this pot is so freaking big you see how much space in it I rarely have no head space over here um, for the um, whoops that water is getting hot, you guys. Put the onions down in there. And I am going to take my knife and just scrape it on over in there, y'all. Because I don't want to get burnt. Because corn is so hard. Woo. It's hot. And I don't want to get burnt, guys. Okay? Don't want to get burnt. But the corn needs to be down in the water. And as soon as it comes to a good little ball, I'm going to put these potatoes down in the water as well. So you guys, just to show you what all I have in here, um, I've added all other sauces and let me just show you um, what's in here. These are all of the sauces. Uh, it's about two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. There's about twelve, <coughs> excuse me has about 12 sauces in this bowl um, a spoonful of each of those sauces and according to be love this is everything that she put in her smacklicious um, dripping sauce for her seafood ball so I'm gonna show you everything that she used there you have it that's oregano right there that's oregano um, I'm just going to show you everything she used that she said she used 
red pepper, minced onion. She actually had garlic powder and uh, onion powder, but I didn't have garlic powder and onion powder. I had garlic salt and minced onion. So what I did was I just used just a half a teaspoon of the mixed onion and the garlic salt because she said it's so salty. I used like a small little a uh, teaspoon of garlic salt not a lot in the paprika and I did use the brown sugar okay now what we're gonna do now is go ahead and finally chop these onions and mix up this garlic to put over in the sauce while our um while our butter is over there uh, churning that's what we're going to do people try to cut this onion as small as we possibly can that's what I'm gonna do because I don't want you guys to say that I didn't do it properly I'm gonna try to do it as best as I can I probably could have ran this across the grate or two just to get it finally chopped but I think this is good enough okay you don't see how this damn sauce is. I hope it's not one of those sauces. So many different seasoning in this sauce. I hope it's not one of those that run your, your blood pressure and shit up. Because <laughs> Jesus, beloved, it's a lot of seasoning in here. This is about 12 different seasonings. You got to think about all the sodium. I know we black people love our, we love our seasoning. But at the same time, everybody... And I'm speaking for the love. Everybody, you know what your body can handle. You know what you can take. So make sure you, um, if you can't follow her recipe to the exact specifications, please make uh, adjustments according to your diet and your health. Be love, you can thank me for that later. But uh, yeah, I would suggest everybody follow her recipe according to their liking and to their health. You know, because my me myself, I do have a little um, spike blood pressure, and uh, so I'm going to do mine according to um, you know my health. But I'm going to go ahead and grate this onion right quick, mix it up just a little bit, so we can go ahead and put that in quite enough that's in there. So I'm going to go ahead and add all of this to the butter. So here in this uh, saucepan, I have put a rack in there along with um, with a little water at the bottom to give my uh, stove, because my stove, I'm putting some of this Cajun blackness season down in the bottom of the pan. Because I want everything to have seasoning to it. Um, you know, even the, the juice that's going to keep it steam, it needs to be nice and seasoned and oily. I'm going to put the lemon, uh, lemon and herb uh, obey seasoning in there. Down in the bottom. Remember, there's already water and oil down there. to put some more Cajun seasoning just a sprinkle and then I'm going to put some of this garlic and herb seasoning it's obey as well and what I'm going to do guys is take a half a lemon and just squeeze some of that good lemon juice down in this juice as well so that it can have, uh, you know, good flavor. That's what you want, you want good flavor. And I'm gonna put this in the oven and let it start simmering and um, get a little um, warm so that once I, the seafood get through cooking, 
I can take it out the water and place it in here and let it stay warm and hot as we're eating as as uh, everybody want more I could just come in here refill it and um, take it out to the table we're gonna go ahead and add all these flavors to um, to the um, butter And then we're gonna add our onions and our garlic to the sauce as well. Do is we're gonna take our spoon and we're just going to we're going to mix that all in and let it cook. The garlic, all the seasonings, the onions. We're gonna let all of that simmer to along with some regular butter. I'm gonna go ahead and cut, cut the, turn the heat back up just a little bit. And I'm going to let that butter go ahead and melt because I just believe we need more butter because there's so many seasoning in there that um, you really need a lot of butter to overpower so that it won't be overpowered. So I decided to add the remaining of the butter. That may be a little bit more than um, four sticks of butter. That may be about maybe five, five and a half, I'm thinking. You got all those flavors, those onions, that garlic, oh my God, the butter, the um, all those different flavorings and things in there. This is surely um, seasoning that, you know, I, you can see that seasoning as I rake it over the, the butter. You can just see what all is in there. Oh my God, it's so many different flavors. I'm hoping that this this is some good shit. I'm gonna be honest to you. I'm hoping this is some good shit. My sister uh, swears by it. I don't know if she's ever tasted it or not, but maybe she's going by the YouTube videos and um, some of the other videos of uh, you know Be Love um, have on YouTube with different celebrities and things. So maybe that's what it is. But just to show you all the flavors and things that's in there. There you go. That's a lot of flavoring, you guys. That's a lot of flavoring. Let me see what it smells like. Oh my God, it has a very nice aroma, I must say. I mean, you know, all the aromas that's in there, the garlic and everything. It smells good now. I'm not gonna lie. It smells really, really good. I'm supposed to cook this. I'm gonna have to take a quick break and um, watch her video right quick to see how long this butter uh, mixture, smack and be love sauce, how long it's supposed to cook. Okay, so I got the scallops in there and the shrimps in there. I have taken the corn and the potatoes out. The sausage is in the water boiling and uh, we're gonna finish this on up so that we can get ready to put this in the oven, steam it a little bit, pour some of that uh, smacking beet love sauce on top of it and then we're gonna serve it, yay! 
You guys, some of the crabs are still, the uh, crawfish are still moving around as you can see. They're still moving around. They're trying to make their way up out of there. There you go, there you go, see them? They were all alive when we first dipped them, but uh, it's time to cook these baby. Look at them. He, 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 I believe that's the one that got out in the car. He is at him. Okay, here it goes, guys. About to put his ass over in the water. About to put him over in the pot. Woo, he's a big boy. Okay, y'all. I'm scared to touch him, so... So as you can see, I'm just going to let him slide on in there. Slide on in there, big boy. Boom. Oh, he in there. Jesus. I'm going to finish doing these scallops, these shrimps, and um, he's over in there. Let him cook. Let him cook, y'all. Let him cook. Let him cook. Let him cook. He's still crawling. <laughs> There you have it, y'all. There you have it. There you have it. There you have it. I got all the crab legs in there. I'm just going to move this around so y'all can kind of see what's all down up under there. The corn, the shrimps, um, the uh, crawfish, uh, everything. The sausage is still in the pot. I'm about to put this in the oven and let it simmer. Don't you see that good smoke coming up off of it? Oh, yeah. It's going down. It's going down birthday behavior or birthday misbehavior about to put that sauce on that good be love sauce on top of it Woo just type the song into the search bar and press play watch a quick video get it with that. and then favor what's that i brought a spoon i brought two spoons in it and then here go those right there if you can't get it with that that be love sauce y'all got that be love sauce Woo -wee. That be love sauce. Oh my god. Yeah, I don't know nothing about that be love sauce. I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit on there. Don't play with it. Play with it. Play with it. Play with it. Y'all better thank Deborah for this bullshit because I don't care nothing about be love. Uh, but this her. This is high in sodium sauce. <laughs> yeah. I got a sausage. I got the sauce, the andouille sausage. But neither way yet, you're missing out. I think we need to put that um, meat up on that table. That's probably what we have got on the concrete. It kind of takes the sound away. Put it up on the table. Oh my God, look who's still fighting, y'all, from yesterday. He's still fighting. This little bugger bear right here don't want to die. He don't want to be eaten. He don't want to die. He the only one left out of all of them. Still standing there with his arms stretched. Wide open. Look at him. He ready to grab so you better leave him alone. He ready. And you gave, you gave him some water. You put him in some water. <laughs> I don't understand. Did he go clip you? That is ridiculous. He got to get out of my sink because I got to clean my sink and wash my dishes. He got to go. You got to go, man. And I'm trying to figure out what the hell we going to do with you. Because all your other friends got cooked and ate yesterday. So what do you want to do? <laughs>